Good morning, everyone. Good morning. If you would all please stand um, for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. It's a big turnout this morning. This is probably our largest state of the uh, city event that we've had uh, in my memory and uh, probably ever, really. We've got nearly 200 people. So thank you all for coming and welcome. Uh, my name is Matthew Grachik and I'm the interim president and CEO of the Ventura Chamber of Commerce. And I'd like to begin by recognizing some of the dignitaries that we have in the audience with us today. And as I say their name, if they could please stand and if everyone would withhold your applause till the end. Of course, we've got our keynote speaker, uh, Mayor Cheryl Heitman here. Uh, <laughs> nobody is good at following directions. Please hold your with, oh, he's the city manager. He, he can do whatever he wants to do. <laughs> um, Deputy uh, Mayor Eric Nazarenko and uh, Council Member Carl Morehouse, City Manager Mark Watkins, Assistant City Manager Dan Peranick, Police Chief Ken Corney, and our legislative representatives uh, representing Congresswoman Julia Brownlee, we have Brad Hudson, and representing Senator Hannah Beth Jackson, we have Stanley Zenkoff. And uh, if I could just ask too, if all of the chamber board members, if you would please stand and be recognized. And then finally, I would like to introduce the uh, current chair of the board of directors of the Ventura Chamber of Commerce, Sarah Bajaj. Wow, great turnout. Thanks for everyone. Thanks for coming in. Welcome and um, welcome to the Chamber's State of the City breakfast and uh, so glad to see you all on a beautiful sunny morning. So we're excited to have Mayor Cheryl Heitman here today to talk to us about the accomplishments of 2014. One of our goals here is to create a strong partnership to work together with our city government. We look forward to learning about new initiatives that impact our city government, our business community, and how we can collaborate with the city in creating a healthy business environment. I would like to recognize our sponsors for today's event, and uh, this time let's try to hold the applause till the end. <laughs> our title sponsor is Ventura County Credit Union, at the platinum level, we have City of Ventura, County Commerce Bank, Community Health, Community Memorial Health System, Era Energy, AT&T, and Hofer Enterprises. At the goal level, we have Fast Signs of Ventura, Kaiser Permanente, and Union Bank. Silver sponsors, Ventura Community Bank and Ventura County Star. At the bronze level, Gold Coast Transit, Ventura County Star, E.J. Harrison, Western States Petroleum Association, BBMND Strategic Planning, Ventura Rental Party Center, and Western Pacific Western Bank. Media sponsors are CAPS TV and VC Reporter. Thank you. So today's title sponsor is Ventura County Credit Union. Ventura County Credit Union was formed in 1950 under a stairwell at the Ventura County Courthouse by 10 county employees, each contributing $1,000. Today, Ventura County Credit Union is the largest credit union headquartered in Ventura County. With six offices, near 65,000 members, and almost 75 million in assets. Ventura County Credit Union 
is passionate about community dedicating itself to local businesses and nonprofits, providing financial education, on-site services, and monetary contribution. They have been a member of Ventura Chamber for 50 years, which is an achievement, and was recognized as a 2014 Poinsettia Awards Large Business of the Year. We are pleased to have Ventura County Credit Union as a title sponsor for today's event. I would like to call Natalie Bradley to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Sarab, and thank you to the Chamber. We're honored to be the presenting sponsor today for this event and to be a Chairman's Club member this year. Um, we have spent 65 years, years here in Ventura County and celebrating 50 years with the Chamber, and we're very honored to do that. In fact, as we grow, and uh, Sarab talked about um, our, our, our um, current locations, but we are adding more locations, and we're adding a new corporate headquarters. So, um, and we're very honored to say that we are keeping our corporate headquarters here in Ventura as well. So um, we are honored to have Patty Braga on the Ventura Chamber Board this year. Um, we're very involved with the Chamber, and as you know, as business is part of the Chamber and local business is here, without the Chamber, um, our growth wouldn't be as, as successful as it is as business owners here in our community. Um, the Chamber staff is phenomenal, so thank you to them. Um, we look forward to having the new Chamber CEO come in, but Matthew's been fabulous as interim CEO, so thank you to him and um, helping the credit union either f even further our relationship with the Chamber over the last few uh, months and last few years since uh, we've been kind of progressing here in the, in the city. So thank you all, have a wonderful breakfast. Look forward to hearing much more about the state of the city from Mayor Heitman, um, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie. So in addition to today's event sponsors, I would like to acknowledge our Chairman Circle members. These businesses and organizations have made an annual commitment to support the Chamber's work in the business community. So at the platinum level, and if you could please hold the applause till the end. At the platinum level, we have Ventura County Credit Union and Ventura County Star. Gold sponsors, Kaiser Permanente, Community Memorial Health Systems, and AT&T. At the silver level, we have Fast Signs of Ventura, County Commerce Bank, ERA Energy, and Montecito Bank and Trust. At the bronze level, we have Tolman and Weicker, Gold Coast Transit, Hofer Enterprises, E.J. Harrison, Cyber Place Senior Living, California Resource Center, Pacific Western Bank, BBMND Strategic Branding, Marriott Ventura Beach, CSU Channel Islands, Ventura Commerce Bank, Ven I'm sorry, Ventura Community Bank, Western Sales Petroleum Association, Union Bank, Ventura Rental Party Center, SoCal Edison, Ventura Breeze, and Swift Ship. Media sponsors, VC Reporter, and Lunar's Production Services. Thank you, everyone. So now, what we came here for. We're pleased to have our Mayor Heitman join us today. Cheryl Heitman was first elected to Ventura City Council in November 2011. She was appointed as, as the role of mayor by her colleagues in December of 2013 and served as deputy mayor for the first two years of her four-year term. Cheryl Heitman served as the executive director of Ventura Music Festival from 2006 to 2012. She's a licensed clinical social worker and had a private practice for 18 years. She serves on a number of boards and is the city's liaison to the Ventura Chamber's Economic Development Committee. She has received numerous honors, including top 50 women in business by Pacific Coast Business Times in 2008. Outstanding Citizen Gold Award from California Teachers Association, among a lot of other awards. Please welcome Mayor Heitman.
Yeah, I have to reposition the box, right? <laughs> so you can see me. Well, good morning, everyone, um, and thank you all for coming. It's my honor to be here today to present the State of the City to you, the Ventura Chamber of Commerce. Um, I do want to thank um, the Chamber very much for hosting this event and also for being such a great partner with the City of Ventura. We really, we work closely together. We work on economic uh, development issues as well as other business issues. So great partnership. Not every city can say, I think, that they have the kind of partnership that we do. So we feel very honored. Um, and Matthew, you've been a great uh, interim CEO. We're looking forward to the uh, soon probably announcement of someone new, but we'll see. Oh, OK, good. OK. Um, well, I don't want to, OK. Oh, very soon. OK, there you go. You heard it first here. Um, I also want to uh, just again thank my fellow council members, um, Carl Marhouse and Deputy Mayor Eric, <coughs> excuse me, Nasarinko, for being here this morning. It, the city council really is a team effort. So we all work together. It's not one person accomplishing anything, obviously. It's all of us working together. So thank you. And thank you to all the department heads who are here today. I'm sure uh, on their own volition they wanted to come, right? But um, led by um, city manager Mark Watkins and um, also our city attorney Greg Diaz is here for those of you who may not have met him yet. So thank you to all of you for coming and for all your hard work. We do have an incredible staff at the city of Ventura. It's almost 600 people and um, really an amazing staff to work with. I can't tell you how proud I am. Um, to be the mayor working with them and, and how much I think we, we should all appreciate our staff because they really are fantastic. It's also so great to have so many chamber members here today. Um, many of you I, I recognize, well a lot of you actually, I was on your board for a, a short one year and then when I got elected you kicked me off. So I'd like to still be there but... Um, I also want to give a special shout out to the ambassadors. Um, these are people who show up at all the ribbon cuttings. They show up at Teacher of the Month and many other activities representing both the chamber and really the city. You all do a fantastic job. You know who you are. But uh, thank you for always being there to support all of us. Oh, sorry. I'll try not to do that again. When I became mayor last year, I felt both great pride and great responsibility. And today, I still feel great pride and great responsibility. As we prepare to head into our 149th year as a city, I sense tremendous excitement and hope for the future of our community. It's hard to believe, but Ventura will be turning 150 years old next year, 2016, and we will be having a big birthday celebration. And at 150 years old, our city is still a natural beauty, radiant and healthy. I wonder what our uh, leaders of yesteryear would think about our community today. They had the foresight to know early on that to be prosperous, Ventura needed to build and maintain a reliable infrastructure and attract skilled individuals and businesses, and they did that. On April 2nd, 1866, the state legislature incorporated the town of San Buenaventura within the county of Santa Barbara. And one of its first charges was to find the best method of supplying the town with water. Sound familiar? And in 1872, after years of political controversy and actually two denials from the state legislature, Ventura leaders led the charge to create Ventura County, which made conducting local businesses easier. Now, 149 years later, we are still taking control of determin determining our future to fulfill Ventura's great potential. This morning, I am incredibly proud to share with you some of our accomplishments, certainly not all, but some of them from 2014. CAPS TV, working with uh, Kelly Flanders from our staff, has helped me to put together this video. Well, they put it together. I, I just did the narration. Um, but I. Uh, <laughs> But it's really, I, it will help highlight some of uh, what we've accomplished this last year. So let's take a look. I'm Cheryl Heitman, and I'm the mayor of the city of San Buenaventura. I'm standing here in our beautiful city hall. And as I look out over our incredible city, I know that the lifestyle we have here can't be found anywhere else. And I feel so fortunate to live in the city of Ventura. We have much to be proud of with hidden gems everywhere in our community. 
from our natural beauty to our active, engaged citizens. This extraordinary seven miles along the coast is a magnet for talented individuals with a common bond. We cherish this community and have tremendous pride for our city. Good city government includes two essential ingredients that our residents expect and deserve. Good governance and high quality services. Good governance means we listen to our residents, involve them in the decision making process, promote transparency, and effectively use public resources. For example, in 2014, the City Council created five new citizen committees to provide oversight, uphold accountability, and have a voice in community issues ranging from water to golf course management. Listening to our residents' concerns, the City Council also took action on several policy issues that affect our neighborhoods. A citywide moratorium was enacted on the establishment and expansion of massage businesses, focusing on illicit massage parlors. We are in the process of adopting an ordinance on the regulation of firearms and ammunition sales and modified our secondhand smoke ordinance to protect the health of our citizens and safeguard our parks, beaches, and waterways. To ensure that public resources are used efficiently and to increase voter turnout, the City Council placed a charter amendment on the 2014 ballot, changing city elections to even numbered years. This measure passed with 83% of the vote, saving the city $138,000 in election costs that will be utilized to help maintain essential service levels for our residents. Additionally, city employees are now paying their full share of retirement costs. To help guide our decision making for limited resources, the Ventura City Council has established four goals that determine funding for projects. Creating and maintaining economic development and vitality, delivering core services, a safe and clean Ventura, and enhancing public trust. The overarching theme of these goals is to maintain the quality of life in Ventura and plan for our future. Now let's take a look at some of our successes in 2014. Quality economic development is vital to paying for services and infrastructure that our residents, visitors, and businesses need and deserve. Focus Area 1 located behind the Ventura Auto Mall is one of the City Council's top economic priorities. For almost a decade, the city has been working on efforts to attract destination retail and expand sales in this area. Last year, we successfully completed a major milestone by finishing the environmental impact report that allows us to proceed with a levee design and new road that will connect Olivas Park Drive to Johnson Drive. Developing the land will create jobs and increase tax revenue. Last year, the city partnered with Community Memorial Hospital and improved a new 571-space parking structure that will encourage new economic investment around what we refer to as the Wellness District. Private investment in Ventura remains strong, with 273 residential permits issued last year. Sports tourism continued to grow with the Ventura Marathon, the BMX Nationals, the Mountains to Beach Marathon, and Women's National Softball Association Tournament attracting new visitors that contribute to our local economy. And in September, the city hosted a summit entitled Jobs for Our Future that was designed to learn how to prepare our workforce for the 21st century. Our trained public safety professionals are committed to protecting our community and providing quality service in a responsive and professional manner. With the implementation of evidence-based policing practices, focusing on high crime areas and trends, the department achieved an almost 4% reduction of Part 1 crimes with a reduction of burglaries of 11%. Our police department has also been participating in a year-long study aimed at evaluating the effects of body cameras. Patrol teams have been randomly assigned to wear cameras that are mounted on the officer's uniform. The results from this pilot program will be available later in the year. The Ventura City Fire Department responded to more than 13,000 incidents in 2014 and remains the busiest fire department per capita in the county. Last year, 156 Ventura residents were affected by sudden cardiopulmonary arrest. Fortunately, Ventura is the only fire department in the county that has a paramedic on every response vehicle who is trained to immediately deliver life-saving interventions. 2014 was another busy year for our Capital Improvement Projects Program that keeps our aging city healthy, safe, and vibrant. Highlights of last year include repaving nearly seven lane miles on Telephone Road from Wells Road to Montgomery, construction of an additional sports field at the community park, completion of West Park Community Center site improvements, 
and sidewalk and intersection safety improvements were completed. Water is on the minds of most Californians. As Ventura continues to evolve, environmental sustainability becomes ever more important. Only rain down the drain is our mantra, and we remain committed to safe and healthy beaches and protecting our natural environment. Last year, we improved our water reliability and delivery by replacing and installing approximately 5.5 miles of water lines in four areas throughout the city. In February, Ventura residents were asked to voluntarily reduce their water use by 10%, and in September, an additional 10% to meet the conservation requirements of the State Water Resources Control Board. In 2014, our city parks and green spaces reduced usage by 20%. In conjunction with a stakeholder process, Ventura Water completed Phase 2 of the Estuary Special Study to evaluate future options to reuse water from the Ventura Water Reclamation Facility. In 2014, the city raised $1.6 million in grants towards the completion of Kellogg Park on the west side. We conducted a series of five public workshops to gather community ideas for the design. The Ventura Council on Aging was reorganized with a council liaison to give seniors a bigger voice in senior policies. And for our youth, the program enrichment for after-school kids, known as PEAK, served more than 500 children daily, and Operation Splash Grant provided 180 Westside students free swim lessons. The 2014 Ventura County Homeless Count showed an 18% decrease from the previous year. However, Ventura accounts for 34% of the homeless population in the county. Working in collaboration with our social service partners, the Homeless to Home program placed 256 Ventura residents into permanent housing. The Homeless Prevention Fund kept 36 households in their homes. This included 56 adults and 59 children. In the last 18 months, the Downtown Ventura Partners Family Reconnection Program provided free transportation for 50 individuals or families to reconnect with a family member or support group. And to beautify Ventura, local artists partnering with the city just completed another series of our Think Outside the Box project and added four new masterpieces using the traffic signal cabinets as their canvas. The City Council held two off-site council meetings in 2014 on the east side of town in May and on the west side in September. As a mayor, I held six Coffee with the Mayor events to reach out and listen to residents' concerns, and I will be continuing this outreach this next year. And to promote community engagement, the Ventura Police Department held two public meetings to hear from our residents and gather information as the department prepares its three-year crime-fighting strategy. I am so proud of all of our accomplishments in 2014 and I'm really looking forward to 2015. So, that was 2014, and now we're gonna look a little bit at 2015. Uh, we begin 2015 with many challenges and opportunities. In my view, who can better tell us what those are than our own residents. We recently completed a citizen survey. The results were informative and will help the City Council prioritize, prioritize our resources. 93% of our residents rated the City of Ventura as a good or excellent place to live. And honestly, if you look outside these windows, I'm not sure where those other 7% live, but... <laughs> uh, 74% of Ventura residents perceive that the city is headed in the right direction. When that same question was asked uh, residents in the state of California with a recent USC poll, only 45% of California residents think California is on the right track. This is a good indicator that we are on the right track and a testament to this community's passion for building a stronger and better Ventura. Equally important is the key finding that 67% of our residents said they trust the city to use their tax dollars wisely. And I just want you to know that the City Council takes that very seriously and we will continue to be good stewards of your money, our money. To do that, we must allocate and plan for our limited resources of the future, especially when it comes to new growth. Ventura is an extraordinary city, and we are committed to fostering an environment that's more than a collection of buildings. First and foremost, we are a community, and we need to ensure that new growth is compatible with our neighborhoods 
and fits with Ventura's small town character. Infrastructure must be aligned with future development. The right geographic areas must be identified to accommodate growth. And we must ensure compatibility with water supply. To achieve these goals, the City Council is, is examining our 10-year-old general plan and is in the beginning stages of exploring a residential growth management strategy. Our best partners, our residents are our best partners and the city is looking forward to working with all of you to making sure we are headed in the right direction. And speaking of partners, our downtown Ventura partners are living up to their mission of fostering a vibrant commercial and cultural district and we have seen an increase in sales tax revenue downtown. Our arts community continues to thrive and expand, drawing visitors to our galleries, especially on First Fridays, art walk, numerous music, live theater, and dance, dance options. Tourism is an income generator for our beach town and brings, bring in, brings in sales and hotel tax revenue that is used to make improvements in our city. The Ventura Visitors and Convention Bureau exceeded their 3% goal of increasing transient occupancy tax, known as TOT, revenue to an impressive 7.32%. So they more than doubled it by attracting more tourists. And last year, occupancy rates for our hotels increased by 4.5%. Ventura is also uh, getting a feature this month in the Men's Journal for the Best Cities issue. And we are one of five finalists for Sunset Magazine's first ever Travel Awards program in the Municipal Makeover Reinvention category. There are five remarkable islands off our coast, out here, that make up the Channel Islands National Park. They bring more than 200,000 visitors here each year. The Channel Islands National Park Service has formed a sister park relationship with Loreto, Mexico, also the home of a national park with five islands which are very similar to ours. The City Council recently voted to establish a sister city relationship with Loreto, thus further highlighting the importance of the partnership with, between the city and the National Park Service, one of our main tourist attractions. And we are currently putting together a sister city committee. So if there's anyone out there who'd be interested in serving on that, please let me know. We're having our first meeting March 31st. While visitors are choosing Ventura as a vacation destination, companies are choosing Ventura as a business location. Several businesses have relocated to Ventura this year from other areas, acknowledging our quality of life as being the key draw. One of our newest downtown merchants is FomFast Gourmet Food Store. The owners recently wrote to me about why they chose Ventura, and I'm just going to read a quote um, from them. After scouring Southern California from San Diego to Santa Barbara, we selected Main Street Ventura as the best possible location for our new FomFast store. Main Street offers a unique and vibrant destination venue that attracts both locals and visitors alike. The great foot traffic of the area, accompanied by a very supportive city government and a business community that has welcomed us with open arms, made Ventura an easy choice for the location of our business. I'd like to thank Mike and Eric, the, the owners of that business, for, for choosing Ventura and for writing us that wonderful quote. Ventura, Ventura stands ready to welcome new businesses and to retain and expand existing businesses, as is highlighted in our five-year economic development strategy. To lead this effort, the city has just hired a new economic development manager named Lee Eisen. She'll be coming at the end of this month. Revitalizing our downtown is important for job creation, and we are doing that in other areas, too. Our V2TC high-tech business incubator has launched several new businesses last year, and in fact, one of our early tenants, the trade desk, has been occupying the fifth floor of that building, but they've outgrown that now, and they're moving into a, a space in downtown Ventura, remaining in Ventura, which is kind of the goal here. They've expanded from less than 10 employees to over 85 employees worldwide, 50 are in Ventura. A partnership with CSUCI has also been formed to create a direct pipeline of talent from the, into the incubator, and the makerspace located downtown is up to 100 paid members. Another indicator of Ventura's economic strength is construction. 
Building projects include the Marriott Residence Inn, which is a, going to be a 128-room hotel on Seward Avenue. This project is currently in building plan check with permits expected to be issued this summer. A four-star full-service Hilton Hotel will be built uh, right over here uh, with 160 rooms, a restaurant, uh, commercial stays space, and is now in the design review process. Kaiser Permanente just closed on a property located at Market and Valentine to build a new 50,000 square foot office building. The building will be, low, will be a gold LEED certified one and is slated to open in early 2017. And mushrooms will continue to grow on Olivas Park Drive. Yes, that's right. The new, the new owner has already hired close to 40 people and is building back the operation with plans to convert the operation to, the state of, to a state-of-the-art high-tech one. The city is fortunate to work hand-in-hand -hand with the Economic Development Collaborative of Ventura County, known as EDCVC, to provide funding for local businesses. Last year, EDCVC made six loans totaling $575,000, of which $130,000 were in the city of Ventura. In 2014, they, they served 148 firms in Ventura. Out, outcomes include 62 new jobs created, six new business startups, 5,980,000 increase in sales over baseline, and 1.5 million in new capital infusion. The city and chamber have partnered in a business visitation program that, is, that helps to connect businesses with information and resources to support long-term success. Last year, we visited 21 businesses, and we will be continuing this program this year, and it's great to have that chamber go with us on these visits. Um, it really makes it much more effective. Economic vitality relies on the city to provide a network of high-quality core services for both our residents and businesses. Our citizen survey indicated that water is one of the top three most important issues to our residents. In recognition of water being a key issue during wet years and dry years, we are investing heavily in water infrastructure to ensure reliability and supply for the long term. Managing water is a complicated issue, and it is, that involves multi-layer stakeholders. While conservation plays a key role, it will not solve our challenges alone. We need to discover new resources. On Monday, the Council adopted the recommendations of the Water Supply Task Force, which is, was made up of 13 community members. The recommendations included revisions to the Water Shortage Contingency Plan, water shortage rates, and an incentive program to help our residents conserve more water. A new Citizen Water Commission will be appointed next month and will play a key role in researching and advising the City Council on all water issues. Once again, we're looking forward to partnering with our community to help us find the solutions. Probably the most difficult and emotionally charged issue facing the City today is homelessness. It was also identified in the Citizen Survey as one of the three most important issues. Though we may not all agree on how to address homelessness, I think we do all agree that we'd like to see it ended. First, let me begin by acknowledging that Ventura is a very compassionate community with an incredible social service and faith-based support system. There are no easy answers to this complex issue, but there are some things that we do know. The majority of social services, health care, mental health services, and drug and alcohol abuse treatment are mandated to be provided by the county, and we appreciate their efforts and partnership. Cities do not receive specific funding for any of these services. In spite of that, the list of programs in Ventura that the city participates in is extensive. The city, in partnership with the Downtown Ventura Partners, will be introducing a Park Ambassadors pilot program designed to make our parks as clean, safe, and welcoming as possible working primarily in Mission and Plaza Parks and rotating throughout the day along Main Street and the Promenade, the ambassadors will use a hands-on approach to assist locals and visitors, answer questions, monitor restrooms, and ensure that our public places are available for everyone to enjoy. Ambassadors will carry radios and smartphones to collaborate with our parks, public works, and police department, as well as the homeless-to-home outreach workers. 
balancing the needs of the homeless with the impact on the city's police, fire, parks, and public works departments is challenging. But we have seen the success of several of our partners, and several of them were highlighted in the video we just watched. And I'm going to highlight just one more. The City Center, which is now directed by Jim Duran, your former uh, chair of, this, uh, of the chamber, is a traditional living facility that houses 18 adults and 23 children who were homeless, mostly women and children. The center has full-time case managers who help families become self-sufficient. All the residents of the city center are employed and saving money with the goal of moving into permanent housing in one year or less. Addressing the needs of children and their families, which this uh, program does, should be our first priority. The good news is we do have these models that work. Let's build on what we know works. And just a special word about our veterans who served our country. Ending veterans homelessness, as you probably know, is a national priority. And I am a strong supporter of the unique opportunity we have in Ventura to invest in veteran housing by continuing our partnership with CalVet and others to pursue the possibility of building an additional facility on vacant land next to the vet's home on Telephone Road to house homeless vets or those who are at risk of becoming homeless. While there is much work to do, our focus is on serving the community and doing so in a fiscally responsible manner. Two-thirds of our residents from the citizen survey perceive that state cutbacks have negatively affected city services and programs, and they are right. While the state is focusing on a fiscally responsible California, it is clear that municipalities are shouldering more responsibilities with no additional funding, and this has been the pattern for many years. For example, realignment has shifted responsibility from the state to the counties, causing an impact on our police department. And public safety may be further compromised with the passage of, Prop, with the passage of Proposition 47 last November, which changed simple drug possession and some property crimes to misdemeanors, among other things. The safety of our community is our highest priority, and I want to acknowledge the women and men of our public safety team that work so hard to, to keep our community safe. Again, the citizen survey acknowledged that public safety is a key priority and in particular issues related to drugs and gangs. Ventura relies on a federal grant to keep one of our six fire stations open. That grant will run out in 16. How to keep that fire station open Long term is a concern we will need to address this coming year as both a council and as a community. Also vital to our safety is our infrastructure, which includes streets and roads. According to our pavement management plan, we are slated to resurface 50 lane miles this year, which is 7% of our total lane miles. As always, our goal is to manage the budget efficiently in a transparent manner. On Monday night, we held our first budget workshop looking at the projected expenses and revenues for the coming year. The city manager emphasized that there is a desire by our community to create capacity, capacity within the budget by closely reviewing the budget, reviewing and reprioritizing existing programs, and pursuing new revenue sources. While our budget for the coming year will be balanced and allow us to maintain our service levels, it will now allow us to increase and add services we know our residents would like and deserve. We will be holding three additional budget meetings and public input is always welcome and encouraged. And you can find our city budget and audit always posted on our website or there's a copy in the city clerk's office. A great city like ours needs to make decisions that will improve and preserve our quality of life and keep us on the right track for the long term. But to do that, we must be willing to invest even more to maintain adequate police and fire services, create more jobs, improve the local economy, protect our waterways, and repair our streets and roads. Ventura is truly one of the most beautiful cities along the California coast. We are all proud to live here. We know how special Ventura is. 149 years ago, the citizens in the town of San Buenaventura saw great promise and invested in this great city. Today, Citizens of Ventura see even greater promise. I believe we must all make an uncompromising commitment to meet our challenges and make this beautiful city even better. And I look forward to working with each and every one of you 
to keep us headed in the right direction. We deserve it. Thank you. I can move, move the stand. Okay, well, um, thank you so much, Mayor Heitman, for, uh, I don't know if that was probably the most informative State of the City address I can remember. Um, lots of great information, and it uh, makes me all excited about the future. Uh, when where's Kelly, too? That was quite an impressive uh, video in the back. I guess she's in the back. That was uh, very well done. So, um, and I also wanted to, on behalf of the whole chamber, thank um, both City Council and the City of Ventura. You mentioned partnership and collaboration and cooperation, and we don't always see eye to eye, eye, to eye on, on all the issues, but the, uh, the city is always so embracing in transparency and communication and being proactive, bringing things to our attention that they know that we might want to weigh in on and, uh, and have a real constructive conversation. And, I, and it's not like that in every city. And I, and I really do appreciate that, both on, uh, on the city council as well as um, on the city staff. Um, I'd like to thank the Crown Plaza uh, for uh, this beautiful venue this morning. We had a large turnout, larger than we had initially expected, and they were able to accommodate our additional, uh, additional folks coming on. Lunar's Production, who put the videos up and the sound system. Um, and uh, I'll segue to thanking our staff here, especially Charlene Morla. Uh, where are you, Char? In the, she's in the back. <laughs> Char always finds some way of like stepping up every different event. Seems like every time we have a new event, there's something new and better about it. And I uh, appreciate her. It's such a, uh, amazing for us to have somebody like that on our staff and, and all of our wonderful staff. Um, if you parked in the Crown Plaza parking lot, the gates should be up. If they're not up, you can uh, get a stamp and, and stamp your ticket. And if you parked in the structure behind Aloha Steakhouse, uh, please see the staff at the back table to get your ticket stamped as well. Um, I'd like to mention one other thing. Uh, this Saturday, we're having what is apparently, well, is truly the largest St. Patrick's Day parade that we've ever had. We have 100 entrants. And um, the, the theme is going to be, um, you know, uh, recognizing our military personnel, and there'll be 600 different military personnel at the parade. It starts at 10 o'clock. Come down, bring your family. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful event. And um, uh, Captain Vasquez, who is a retiring uh, military base commander, will be there as well. So come on down to the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And that is it. So enjoy your morning on time, right? 9 o'clock. Oh, that's right. No, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. No, 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 I do. Um, we, we, we're trying something different. We didn't do this la last time, but um, we did want to open it up for Q&A uh, if anybody had any questions for the mayor. And maybe nobody does. Maybe everybody's in. I've screwed with your mental switch, and now you're ready to go and move on with your day. All right, well, thank you all. Have a good morning.